Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Elio Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are already available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions which are available in the LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is pinned in the chat description below. And in addition to that, I have also segregated my videos into five different playlists, which are of easy, medium and hard, depending upon the difficulty of the question and premium subscription questions of the lead code platform into premium playlist. And I have combined everything premium, non-premium and all difficulty levels into one single playlist consisting of 230 videos and order by the sequence number, which is there in the lead code platform itself. Okay, let's see the question, which I'm trying to solve it today. The question which I'm trying to solve it today is type easy question number 2205 the number of users that are eligible for discount. Let's see the question which is there in this. Uh, okay. The number analytics quotient. Okay. They have given a table. Okay. Okay. Uh, user ID times is a prime time. Each row contains. Okay. The purchase details they have given. A user is eligible for a discount if they purchase a purchase in the inclusive interval. Okay, they will give you some start date and end date. Our timestamp should be in that date and with at least minimum amount. Minimum amount also they will give you. We need to filter for that also. To convert the date to time, both dates should be convert, considered at the start of the date. For example, and equal to should be considered as the time 22. Okay. Okay. Write an SQL means start of the day, 0 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Write an SQL query to report the number of users that are eligible for a discount. Okay. Let's see this question. Okay. What is the start date? 2022 03 Eight. How many things have satisfied this? 220308. Okay, this is satisfied. This is satisfied. This is satisfied. This is also satisfied. And what is the end date? 2023 03 means before that it should be there. Okay, this is not satisfied. Yeah, this is satisfied. 319, 380. This is also satisfied. And what is the other thing they have asked? Yeah, this is also not satisfied. Wait a minute. Yeah, this condition is satisfied. I'm sorry. This is satisfied and this is also satisfied. If you see 19, 18, 13. Okay. Now see the third condition. Minimum amount greater than 1000. If you see, first condition it's not satisfied. Second condition is satisfied. Here it is not satisfied. Here again it is satisfied. If you see, only for the second row, all the three conditions has been satisfied. So only one row is there. So number of users who are satisfying this condition is user ID 2. The count of users is 1. Okay. Let's see it. Now what is that they are asking is, instead of, uh, let's say that, let's try the syntax first. Select count. Select from which table we need to do, do from purchases what is the condition where amount should be greater than some minimum amount they said minimum amount and timestamp should be they said they should be greater than the some start date and timestamp should be less than some uh, which date uh, any date okay after filtering for this condition what they ask count of distinct user id okay they told you to written it as user count okay but if you see in this function, 
the parameter which is describing this minimum amount is what at the rate of minimum amount so I kept it minimum of minimum amount for the start date they are given us at the rate of start date so I'll keep it as same thing start date and for the end date they have given this end date parameter the function same itself I'm keeping these parameters let's run it okay minimum amount should be capital A if you see okay I'm sorry I need to keep these parameters right at the rate of because they are not column names they are parameters which we are giving to the function we are just checking with that yes it's got accepted let's submit it yes all the test cases are successfully uh, qualified to for this question thanks for watching my videos if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel it will boost my morale and it will help my channel and it will also help your uh, problem solving abilities in the interviews okay just be disciplined complete all the 230 questions which are there in my platform just complete all the playlists okay and it's your dream job as fast as possible by keep hustling keep watching all these videos keep practicing these videos just be better one percent compared to your previous day okay thanks for watching my videos thank you bye bye